Christ Life Ministries International brings to you a program, Hearing Jesus, with Prophet Zadia Kale Alpha. Position yourself in the dimension that will guarantee you nothing less but the life of God. That dimension is the voice of His Son. Cultivating the true pattern of Christianity through sound doctrine for fellowship with the Spirit and proficient ministry among our hearers. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. You're very welcome again to our program, Hearing Jesus, right here at TBN Africa. I'm grateful to God for those of you that have been ardent followers of this program. Um, I'm very sure the previous uh, broadcasts have been a blessing to you. In a special way, I would like to thank God for those of you that are partnering with us. Those of you from wherever you are coming from have seen it fit to see that this program will continue airing on TBN Africa. Just right now, ask someone to connect in, to tune in from wherever they are. And most importantly, those that have uh, influential positions in the body of Christ. It could be a pastor, an evangelist, a teacher, a prophet, or some people of that kind of sort. Make sure they are watching with you right now. Again, with me, I have my brothers, Apostle Timothy Gasana. Good to have you again, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank and you. Uh, Apostle Tom uh, in Malingat. Good to have you. Thank you very uh, much, sir. We, we thank God for the time that we had previously. It's uh, amazing the kind of knowledge that is being dispensed. We know that it's working together for the good of ministers and ministries at large. Hallelujah. And, and we are not changing this, this, this narrative. We are not changing this conversation. We are keeping it as it should be. It's strictly about hearing Jesus. And uh, of course, we'll all minister on the same as the Spirit leads. Um, I would like to take it from um, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 from the very first verse. And uh, I would like you to see something. The Bible says, Therefore seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not. And verse 2 says, But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully. And then it says, But by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But by manifestation of the truth, uh, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. Again, if we borrow the, 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 the idea from the English language of how the punctuation marks are used, the element of the, the, the semicolon that is introduced in this context of scripture, it, it, it tells of, it speaks of something wonderful about, about the subject here in Jesus. Look at this, it says, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully. There is such a thing as handling the word of God deceitfully. It is the word of God, but, but it can minister deceit. Yeah, it, 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 it can point to deception. And yet it is the word of God. But you see, he says, if you do not handle the word of God deceitfully, in other words, if the scriptures are in their way of precision, allowed to testify of Christ, the semicolon then says to us, that we will be able to manifest that truth and in the end commend ourselves to every man's conscience and the bible says all this happens in the sight of god 
let me try to to drive the point home praise god it it should not amaze us why in a time when jesus the time jesus lived that that was a crazy generation these people were hard hearted but you see one of those days again the pharisees sat and said to themselves behold all men all men are going unto him all men are going unto him as soon as i realized it should never be the concentration of a man to have the attention of men that is in the right of god to permit it's it's in the space of god to work our place is to deal with the opportunity to frustrate the the, the opportunity for handling the word of god deceitfully it's to your detriment or it is to your destruction if the word of god is handled deceitfully but you see you even need to have the discernment to know in this kind of approach the word will be handled deceitfully but in this kind of approach the word of god will be handled in honesty there are two things the handling of the word that's key every preacher needs to know that how do i handle the word how do i handle the word the handling of the word every ministry has to have that at the center of their minds it's one thing to preach the word but it's another to uh, to understand how the word is handled because there are two dimensions to it handling it in honesty or handling it deceitfully but he says if you handle it in honesty you see for what that is able to do hallelujah by default there will be a manifestation of the very truth you communicate to the end that the consciences of men will accommodate you when he says commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of god this is god laboring to 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 accommodate in the minds of men you see your ministry your name your abilities that is when you see men think of certain men the way they do i remember one man says to jesus if you had been here my brother would not have died it means in her conscience in her conscience jesus was commended but you see that was the result of the manifestation of the truth that he did what the truth that he preached you see so again in this we 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 are also providing for the people that are hungry for manifesting yeah is yes, papa <laughs> you 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 see um something very interesting in the the, the light that you've shared yeah um he begins by saying renounce the hidden the hidden renouncing the hidden the hidden things of, of dishonesty. dishonesty yes meaning that that until if if they have not come to light they and then they they cannot be 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 put to that that is true because truth now abides in light meaning every every other thing that is not of light is dishonesty that's why i love it when he says manifestation of the truth meaning that 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 until you manifest truth it is absolutely automatic that you're walking in dishonesty yes and craftiness yes 
that that why it is a secret is because there's no light in it there's no light there's no mm. light in it the moment you shed light on it yeah this honesty will disappear yeah and craftiness will disappear yeah. but but look here he's saying handling in handling the word in it handling is, the it word is, it is not in handling yourself uh uh-uh. no is is not in a character build up is is mm. is not in you trying to perform it is in handling mm. the word yeah. meaning that like you said it is possible for you to use the word of god deceitfully yes it it it, it means it is also possible for you to use it dishonestly yes it is possible for you to be crafty in the word of god yeah that is why you will you i, I know many many of these doctrinal questions come mm. in the hearts of men when when they do not seem to put it together mm. how does a man use the word yeah to manipulate hearts of men into doing wrong things yeah you remember what happened in kenya recently yeah. mm. a man is telling thousands of people that look here go to the mountain don't eat anything if you die you'll go to heaven and they are unmasking graves and and he's using the same thing so it is possible that when truth is not found in ministry mm. you are being drawn into craftiness yes you're being drawn into dishonesty you are being drawn into things that do not add up that is why man of god to me i believe that it is also a mandate for us as hearers mm. besides them that are dispensing the word yeah. to be able to hear hearken to the spirit of discernment yes. to know what is true and what is crafty yes what is dishonesty and what is true mm. because he has mentioned this truth this truth is now for you to understand how this man is handling the word of god yeah yeah glory to god praise the lord because the consciousness of men mm. is present for deceit mm-hmm. for dishonesty uh-huh. but also for light yeah but what makes the difference is that we are commending ourselves mm. by handling the word of god truth. yes yes so you do not commend yourself mm. before you handle the word of god yes in truth mm. you see it is possible for you to assert yourself mm. to try to 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 do a and b and c to please the hearts of men yes but he's saying this is a byproduct of you handling the word of god yes so what is my part handle it with honesty yes with no craftiness with no craftiness that now the conscience of men mm. is not my work uh-huh for me to command into exactly meaning that god has put an ability in the spirit of a man to yeah. know this is true yes and this is not handled well yes mm. yes and to me to me to me that settles the debate now yes that my part is not to commend myself in the consciousness of man yes. my part is to handle this word in truth wow. in honesty wow. that now god by his spirit is now attesting to this man mm. in their consciousness mm. that you'll see prophet alpha yes is actually handling my word yes. in truth that is why uh, i will also say this mm. you see you see it is possible mm. for when men try to appease themselves yes before fellow men yeah of course of course present day they will tell you have the ambience have the, uh, the, have, aura. the have the best suit of uh-huh. uh look sharp mm. have the best english the marketing the of ma- personality exactly mm. take it to their faces mm. let them buy into you mm. but now 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 paul is twisting the approach yeah he's saying your part is, is handling the word handle the word of god rightly because let me tell you there is no man who has attested to the true light yes who has turned back that's right when they encounter this handling of the word mm, and truth mm. they will not look back mm. the same that happens to the disciples of yes God. yes when they encounter the truth mm. no man will turn back no man the will same turn that back. jesus is talking about there's no man who 
gets on the plow uh-huh. and is ready for it mm. and turns back his Looks feet for back, the kingdom. Yes. Mm. Meaning that there is a beauty in the kingdom that when you attest to it, mm. you will not desire to draw back. Yes. So, so God has put a provision in the heart of every man Yes. that for me, my part is get into the word, mm. handle it with honesty, yes. without deceit. Yes. When the hearers hear it, mm. they will know yes. that this man has a thing on him yes. that when I have tested it, yes. I cannot turn back. But all this is happening mm. in the sight of God. Like you say, yes. that, that, that the happenings therein, mm. God is busy present yeah. at work knowing uh-huh. that this is my faithful servant. Yes to whom I can commit a generation. Exactly. Apostle, exactly. Uh, actually, when wow. you continue downwards, mm. yeah. it, it explains what mm. you're talking about. Mm. Uh, just as you continue downwards, mm. in verse 3, he says, because now, I, I believe someone will wonder, how do I handle the word handle of the truth? Word, or what is the manifestation of truth? Yeah. You see? Mm. So he says, but if our gospel be hid, mm-hmm. It is hid to them that, that are lost. lost. Mm. He's continued. Mm. Verses 4. He says, In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Yes. Then he says, Lest the light of, of the, the glorious gospel, gospel of, of Christ. Christ. Mm. You see? Very important. Mm. Who is the image of God should shine unto them. Yes. You see? He says, For then he we says, preach we not ourselves. Preach not ourselves. But now that's Christ where the mishandling is. Yes. Mm. It is possible to preach, but not preach him, and yet you preach yourself. And that's possible. How would that even be? In simple statements like, uh, I have this, I have this, mm. I have that, I have that. So it's about you. It's about you, not Christ. Yes. You see? I've, I've done this. Okay. Yes. And, and, and that's where people get it wrong. Yes. When it is about the man and not, not Jesus. Jesus. Wow. 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 That is dishonesty. Mm. That's craftiness. My God. Mm-hmm. When the gospel becomes self centered, mm. mm. I mean centered on you mm. and not Christ. Yes. It means you have begun handled it. handling it with dishonesty Craftily and craftiness and deceitfully and deceitfulness. Because now <laughs> you mm. become the, the vision of mm. people's faith. Yes. Yes. Mm. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you become the vision of people's faith. Faith. That 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 if you do not appear, they won't believe. And yet the gospel. Uh-huh is about pointing men to Jesus. Amen. Now, when you point men to Jesus, mm. you are handling the word of God honestly. Honest. It's called the honest handling of uh, the word. But again, I love that you have defined the word in this context. Because you see, there is a thing uh, people would love to relate to as the word. And yet, it's just a sermon. A sermon is not is not the word, yeah. and not everything you call the word, word is actually the word of God. Mm. You see, but the word of God here is the gospel Spot. about Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Now, let me tell you where I find um, the trickery of man, the craftiness of man, to be so powerful. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. In uh, Second Corinthians chapter, can we have chapter chapter two, from verse three? I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Okay, sorry. Uh, chapter three, Second Corinthians chapter three, from verse one. Paul says, "Do we begin again to commend ourselves, or need we, as some others, episodes of commendation to you?" or letters of commendation from you it's 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 a question then he says in verse 2 ye are our epistle written in our hearts known and read of all men next verse 
for as much as you are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshy tables of the heart. Verse 4. He says, And such trust have we through Christ to God. What? Verse 5. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God. And six, who also has made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. Able ministers of the New Testament, of the New Testament, not of the letter but of the spirit in in the verses above from verse 5 all the way into 3 he's literally talking about how the ministry on Paul you see which is the ministry of the word he calls it the ministry of the new testament you see and of the spirit the ministry on this man was able to transform these guys in Corinth to the level Paul says that they literally became a, a manifestation of Christ's episode I, I don't know if we get that like they preached to them and they did not become epistles they of did Paul. not become epistles of Paul they literally became the episodes of Christ ministered by Paul. In other words, they preached to these people to the level that people could read Christ on them. Oh, Jesus. You'd look at their families and see and read Jesus. You'd look at their wallets and read Jesus. You'd look at their health and read Jesus. You'd look at, at, at their prayer life and read Jesus. You, you see? But you see, that is what makes the craftiness, the handling of the word of God in a crafty manner, a very powerful thing. What do I mean by that? It can deny you the identity of Christ. Just as someone on a pulpit expressing the handling of the word of God deceitfully. No wonder, as we come back to you men of God, the devil does not steal from you your time to pray. No, if he wants to steal from you your time to pray, he will steal the word of God from you. He will not steal from you your marriage. If he wants to do that, he will steal the word of God from you. Because everything finds its bearing around the word. You see? Because everything exists for the word. And by the word. So if I can frustrate the place of their relationship with the word, then whatever resonates in their life, for as long as it is anchored on the word, I have frustrated. You see? That's why when we tell people that the center of everything is the word of God, and, and we've defined the word, it's the preaching of the gospel, it, it is something we shouldn't take for granted. You see? Now it's a two-way, it's a two-way thing. It's it's the, 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 the it's 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 to the, the preacher, but it's also to the congregation. You are talking about discernment. And again, the question here is how do we get discernment? Again, it's in the word. If you don't know the word, if you are not taught the word right, how are you going to discriminate? what is right from what is not right or what is handled right from what is not handled right it, to mm. me i think it's yeah. uh, again w w what what paul tells timothy yes he tells timothy to study mm. and be eager yeah so that he can be able to analyze yeah and correctly divide the word of god yeah w when you study the church of yeah. The Thalonica mm. and Berea. Yes. Paul denotes something about those two churches. Yes. He speaks of uh, 2 Timothy 2 15. Mm. He says, Study to show thyself, thyself approved, unto, approved God. unto God. A workman, A workman that needeth not to, to be, be ashamed. ashamed. Rightly dividing, dividing the, word the word of truth. Of truth. You see? Yes. And then 
there is this church called Berea. Yes. And then there's a church of the Thalonica. Yes. The Bible says about the church of the Thalonica. Yes. That they did not treat the word the way the church of Berea, of Berea did. did. Mm. The Bible says, I think in uh, Acts 17. Yes. Around 11. Mm. He says that once they had the word, they went back mm. and searched the scriptures. Yes. He says these were more noble than those in the Thalonica. Yes. In that mm. when they received the word yeah. with the readiness mm. of, of mind, mind and searched, and searched the, the scriptures, scriptures daily, whether those things yes. were so. They were not searching the scriptures to disapprove Paul. They were searching to see whether the things, things Paul said were so. so. Now that is a discerning church. That's a discerning church. Because whether you want it or not, we well, all have a well, disposure yes. to the word of God. Yes. We all have a disposure to the word of God. Yes. Our place as ministers is mm. to open the eyes of people to the, the 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 teaching of the word. Yeah, and we we are not the standpoint. Mm -hmm. We are those to for them to gain interest into mm. understanding deeper. Not what guards. Are, not guards <laughs> of the mysteries. Of the mysteries. <laughs> we are simply stewards. Mm -hmm. So when they listen to us, they must go back and such that was the church of Berea. thank you for tuning in that was hearing jesus with prophet xavier kale alpha to partner with us or for any other information reach us through the details available on the screen Christ Life Ministries International. Christ to influence.